cousins. Hey, cousins. Happy Sunday. I'm coming to you from the community tab. Ever so often, I post something in my community tab that gets a lot of comments. And I figure we should probably talk about this on a larger scale. So from the community tab, check my community tab, y'all. The real action is going on in the community tab because I, I post stuff on there all the time and lots of discussion is going on on the community tab. Oh, I should have posted this up here. Let me see if I could save it. Be sure, okay, let me tell you what this one is about is, uh, y'all know, I, when I married my husband, I had a daughter, okay? That's our beautiful little family. And so I'm gonna read this while you look at our beautiful little family. I had another one up here, but I think I deleted it. Oh, this is our family right here. Okay, it says, is he wrong? So my wife and I have been together four years. We have a child together and she has two from her last marriage. She asked me to adopt her two children. I haven't given her an answer, but I'm more towards the nay side. If we split, <clears throat> I just want to move on and parent my child. I would legally be responsible for the other two, and I don't want that. Am I wrong for feeling this way? My answer is nope not wrong. Where are the father fathers? And then I'm asking you, what do you guys think about this? So I'm going to read some of the comments. A lot of you are saying, yes, he is wrong. I totally agree with him. I absolutely agree with him. Let me tell you why I agree with him. Where's the daddy? <laughs> Where, she was married. Where is the father? Is he dead? We don't, we don't, this is all we know. I know a lot of you are asking for more context. This is all we know. I'm making the assumption he's a bum. He's a pookie. Because I'm making that assumption. My husband said don't make assumptions. I'm making the assumption he's a pookie because why would you want me to adopt them, number one? And number two, if he is dead, did he leave an inheritance for his children? If, if he left, if he's dead, and if he left an inheritance for his two kids, is what he left gonna be split with his the new husband's child, is she, is that child from the new husband gonna get a part of the inheritance the dead daddy left the other two kids? I just wanna know. <laughs> I think I have that shy come. I just wanna know. And you know what I always say? What was the discussion before y'all got married? What did y'all discuss? You Now you're married. He don't sign the paper. Excuse me. And now you want him to adopt these two. Well, didn't y'all talk about this before? And what did y'all decide? <clears throat> because see, a lot of y'all women do this bull crap, right? Y'all get pregnant and then force the man to marry you. You marry him and then now you want to force him to adopt these kids. Granted, there are some men that does that. They do it all out of their own free will, especially when the kids are little and the daddy's, the, the biological father is dead. I've seen that happen. Um, okay. So I, I, I have questions. Now, I totally agree with him. And this is second marriage. Do y'all know the percent? I forgot what the percentage of second marriage failure, 70, 80%. See, this is some of the things a lot of people don't think about. This is why I believe in prenups. Absolutely. Sign a prenup. There are prenups were signed in the Bible. I bet y'all didn't know that. Mm. He's right. If they split, he is legally responsible for those kids 
until they're either 18 or 21 if they go to college. Why should he take up that responsibility on his head? And so I don't agree with a lot of you that says, I'm going to read it. I'm going to tell you why I don't agree with you. Because it's going to be like biologically, those are his three kids that he has to take care of because you are saying, I am taking on the legal rights to take care of you. Okay, he's there, the kid's already living, so that means he's already providing basic needs. This is why I don't agree with you, some of you who say, oh, you have to take the whole thing. He is, he's providing basic needs. He's providing roof, I'm making the assumption, shelter, food, clothing, and whatever. But as far as taking on the legal responsibility in taking care of you for the rest of your life until you're 18 or 21, absolutely not. Because if 10 years, these kids are little, let's say five years, the marriage don't work out. Five years later, and he has adopted them, he's got to pay child support until they're 18 or 21. And then mommy remarries, and he still has the legal rights to have to take care of these kids. No, don't do it. Absolutely not. If he doesn't want to do that, if it's not something he wants to do of his own free will, don't. Okay, so let's read some of the comments. And these are the comments, shout out, shout outs from the community tab, okay? Be sure to subscribe. I am 19 away from 11,000 cousins. So share this out. Let's get a few more people in this house over here at the Church Girl Cathedral. Thank you for your love and support of my books and my content. Books are on Amazon, check them out. And of course, my Etsy shirt is brand new, still being edited. Uh, so check that out for me. I love you. I love you for it. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay. Sure. Uh, should I go all the way to the bottom? People always complain, James. Oh my God, you never read my comments. Okay. Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl King. She said, he is not wrong. Not sure how he will get his way out of this one. This was something that should have been discussed very early in the merit dating stage. Absolutely. Why wasn't this discussed? But I know why it wasn't discussed. Some women are trickery. That's why it was you just four years married. Four years. So this is a brand new marriage and you're just bringing this up now. Most stepfathers don't adopt their kids. There's, there's a very, very, very small, very tiny percent of stepfathers who adopt their kids. Now, another thing is, another thing is, this father has one child with this wife. So that means in his head, he is building a legacy and an inheritance for his one child. If he adopt these two, he's gonna have to split that inheritance with that he's creating for his one child with these two children. So that means, let's use $150,000. Let's say he has $150,000 nest egg for his one child to go to college. When he adopt these two, that 150 that he could have given his one biological child is now gonna have to split between, absolutely not, except if that's what you want. I've seen it, I've read it in some of the wife, wife groups. Woman has college fund for his daughter. Married somebody, a, another child who's around the same age. That child graduates first and needs to go to college. That father didn't provide a plan for that child to go to college. And now he wants you to use your 529, you say for your child to send his child. I don't think so. And for those of you that's gonna ask, I I have was working on a nest egg for Alexia when I was single. I'm married now. Now I'm splitting that nest egg for little Michael and Lexi. I have an insurance policy, it's just for Alexia. 
because I had that when I was 24. I got married at 35. And then I have an insurance policy for Big Michael, Lexi, and Little Michael. But the one I had when I was 24, it's all to take care of Alexi. Those of you who don't know, my daughter Alexia is considered special needs, so she's going to need a little extra help. So you need to think these things through, ladies. Taking on M MXW, hey, taking on other people's children forever is a huge responsibility. I think he can be a bonus father without adoption. I absolutely agree. I don't understand why y'all are saying he needs to adopt them. Why he needs to adopt them? He's already feeding them and providing shelter and roof. Why he need to go sign the legal doc? Where is the daddy? Shayla, hey Shayla, she said, there's no right or wrong when it comes to a person's feelings. You feel what you feel. With that being said, it is not in your heart to do, then, then the answer is definitely no. Absolutely. I know, I know some men who did that. Usually the kids are little, you know, little. Delphine, hey Delphine, she says, she is wrong to act. They should have talked about it before getting married. I bet she got pregnant when dating or living together. There are five, where are the fathers? The father, father, fathers will say yes, no child support. That's how I feel about it. And that's why when Joel says, he says, I'm not only dating for me. I'm dating for my kids. He's looking for a mother figure, right? But I don't think you have to adopt. Dawn, she says, Dawn says this should should not be something that is discussed after the marriage, but before. Thank you. Hello, gather the data. I was dating one guy. I was dating one guy that said once Alexia got turned 18, I could put her in a group home. Ask me. If I spoke to him or went out with him again, ask me in the comment section. Didn't he realize that they were a package deal? This is where I disagree. Why does a package deal means adoption? Del uh, Dawn, why does a package deal mean adoption? Children come along with the mother as a package. And if you love her, you should love them. Okay, but what does that have to do with adoption? If you make her, her make her your own, then you should be willing to make them your own. Why does he need to adopt them? Why? Do you think um, Alexis is going to be adopting? Dairy and kids. And and if he had a child out outside of this marriage, should she adopt that child too? Hmm. If he is scared about the possibility of divorce, is he really committed to the marriage vows that he commit? I don't want to say I, I don't like to use the word scared, but I do think you need to be conscious, okay. Unfortunately, when you say I do, you are accepting the risk. Does not mean he has to adopt them. All of what is included in the risk. I disagree. Why does he have to adopt them? Why does he need to go down to the court and sign the legal papers and say, I'm taking the legal responsibility of these kids? Because if they don't work out and she leaves, all he has to do is pay child support for his one child. By adopting that, he's going to have to pay child support for three kids. All of this is included in that risk. He is now second guessing a decision that should have made clear to him during their courtship. So he could have let her know he's not the one for her. Why does he have to adopt them? Okay. I just want to know, Dawn, why he got to adopt them. 
Uh, Sharia, she says, I need more information. That's all we got, babes. Do the kids live in the current husband's home? Of course. Either way, it doesn't sound like God put them together. Two flesh become one in marriage. I feel sorry. I don't know how you came by that situation. And I, you know, I don't like this. <laughs> God put them together. 50% divorce is worse in the church than it is in the world. So that's something we really need to, you know. Pamela, she said, I respect his decision. Either way, I pray it doesn't become an issue in the marriage. It probably will be. S. Scott, well, we know divorce is an option in their union. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Um, Gamma Razan, where are the children's father? If the father is still alive, uh, then he shouldn't adopt them. Uh, Cherie says, Cherie should say he's not wrong. Tar Dan, they should not have married. He does not love her and definitely does not love her kids. Why does adopting the kids is the definition of love? I want to know. Uh, Rosie, she says, I agree. I have two children. And if I ever get married, I must be secure in his ability to love and care for my children as if they were his own. What if something happened to me? That is now how I look at it. Where are the children, Father Rosie? And are you setting up a plan for your children? If you die, God forbid, you want the stepfather to take over caring for your children. That's not a good plan. Okay, and Rosie, why does it mean him adopting? I, I don't know if you guys are see, seeing where it says adopt, adopt mean go down to the court go before a judge sign the legal paper i had to do that for my daughter when she turned 18. i had to go to the judge stand before the judge legally sign a paper she had three lawyers the state gave her three lawyers to make sure her rights are being protected i didn't have no lawyer because i couldn't afford one <clears throat> they, you know, she has a team of psychologists, psychiatrists, social workers, and they have to come and testify. Is she able to take care of herself independently? No, she is not. Therefore, we suggest, Judge, you give a uh, Alexia's mother legal guardianship over her because she is not in a capacity to take care of herself independently. That's what that means. And we went to court, down to the court. I think I had started dating Michael that time. Before the judge raised your hand. Okay. That's what that means when you adopt the kids. First name, she says, any older man who is wise should make the decision to adopt too because when he gets sick, he is going to wish he had older kids in the case where is his wife isn't able to. Ah, uh, You get a nurse to take care of you. The returns, I forgot who I heard, the returns on stepkids is not, is not, uh, is not, uh, I don't know what the word is. And so, so you're saying, first name, this is why he should adopt them. Because if his child doesn't step in, then maybe the kids you adopt will step in. Well, what if they don't want to step in? What if they reunite with their daddy? This really should be considered when men are in their 30s and 40s starting new families with women who already has kids. Childhood is the shortest period of life. It would be foolish to waste 10 or 11 years on raising a child with nothing to show for it once they're old and sick. Children are your future biologically or not. I totally disagree. Don't disagree. He's providing for them. Why does he need to sign the paper? See, uh, well, it all depends. If he has children before her, single men versus versa, have no business marrying people with kids. He loves her, just doesn't want responsibility of another man's kids, which is okay, but they can't be together. Uh, 
Uh, Delphine, hey Delphine, I want to make sure it should not be something I don't want to miss any more. Delphine, she says she is wrong to ask. I did that already. Uh, Pamela, I respect is this. I read that. Oh, child. I read that. Okay, here we go. So divine, hey, so divine. She says it's his choice. Never pressure anyone to do such a thing. I totally agree. DS, is that Denise? Janice, say that again so some woman on the back row can hear you. We're the daddy yet. <laughs> We're the father. Kel Kylie, Kalia, she said, mm, this is interesting. Wonder where the ex-husband is. Wonder why the wife thinks she is net. This is necessary. Right. Why? Why? Why he needs to adopt, sign the paper. He's already, they're already living in the house. He's feeding them and putting food and clothes on their shelter, on their back. Body language, hey, body language. She says there are many cases where the husbands are legal responses anyway uh, with paperwork. Don't sign none. Don't sign any. Mm, private person, this requires more context for a clear year or nay. That's all we have, baby. Georgiana, Georgiana says, no, if he's thinking that way, then he shouldn't. There may be a point in the future when he might feel otherwise. I would want to know always, also, where is the father of those two children? They would not need to be adopted if they have a father. DS Angelable, hello. She she says she was married previously, which is different than just having a baby's daddy. It would be nice to unify the family by adopting the two children and kids, but he must have good reasons. Why does adopting unify the family? I just want to know. Uh, she continues, if he has any apprehension, it's resounding no. There are someone... The, those are someone else's kids. The mom should have waited for him to suggest adoption. Now there will be all types of suspicion. It is good. This man is thinking responsibly. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. He's thinking responsibly. And then it got cut off. First name says he is wrong. So I know. Yes, he is wrong. So I know someone who grew up like that. Her half-sister father raised her. When he turned 50, he and his wife got terminal ill. His biological daughter refused to care for him because she's young and has family. I asked his oldest stepdaughter to care for him. Should the stepdaughter care for him in his old age when he stands to inherit? She stands to inherit nothing. This could go both ways. Too many people don't think about what the future can hold. This man in question should adopt these children because his odds of being cared for in his decline increase more with, with children, especially in those COVID times, uh, the more um, the family. Well, who said the stepkids is going is going to um, is going to want to uh, take care of him? And why does he have to adopt? I mean, he fed you for, for God knows how long. I think I would think that should be enough. I would think because he took you in <laughs> and fed you for closing, that should be enough. Though, though, in a stepfather's uh, position, it's just a will. He writes the will. And so, well, I'm going to leave this child this, and I'm going to leave this child this, and I'm going to leave this child this. And the stepchild or the not his child might not get as much. Those are the things, but these are the things you discuss before. <laughs> Uh, Dorothy says, never marry a man, but, but they won't fully accept your child as their own. Why does he need to adopt them? Where's the daddy? If the daddy's paying child support and the daddy's alive, why should this man take on the responsibility? And why is ac fully accept your child is adopted? Miss Shea said, no, he's not wrong for a feel that way. I got to read. Those are replies. Joy Presley. Hey, Joy. She says, no, because his name is not on their birth certificate. So legally, he's not their father and can bounce. Notice how she had to ask him. Exactly, girl. See, ya. Mm, but if you aren't ready to take responsibility of her kids, you shouldn't marry her. Why does 
going down to the court, legally signing the paper is taking responsibility. Why is that? Because he's taking care of, he's giving them basic needs. Okay. The fact that you're thinking ahead in regards to divorce is also a red flag. You already made the mistake of marrying someone with kids that you won't responsible for. He's taking care of the kids. Now, I'm, I'm, when I read some of these comments, I'm wondering, are you, some of the comments sound like he is saying, I need you to pay for these kids to live here. <laughs> This is what it sounds like when I read some of the comments, okay? Now, that I can see, okay? That I can see if a woman comes, she has children, and he's like my husband. I am provide. I might provide for all of us. There's no difference. Lexi uh, was getting a little something, and I brought it to him, and he said, girl, put that in savings, Okay, so he's not like, well, Lexi, get how much you need to pay me? Y'all, you need to pay me five hundred dollars or a thousand out of Lexi money every month. No. Now that to me is a little different, though. Though, though, I do believe, I do believe, if the children are getting child support, the wife should offer the husband, uh, and say. You know, let's say she's getting a thousand dollars a month in child support because the child support is to take care of the needs of the child. I do believe she should offer. And if there is a need, yes, use that money to whatever. Okay, it bugs me. These women marry these men and you're getting child support and you just want to keep the money to go shopping for all the kids. Well, you better go to the grocery store and shop. Because he has to feed an extra mouth. There's extra water, extra light, extra cable. You should at least offer. And especially when there's a need. If y'all struggling, put that child support towards your house's expense. So y'all don't have to struggle. Okay. I'm hungry. Uh, Angel, did I read Angel again? She said, no, he is a right, especially if he was childless. They, they got the, the dad. Right, right. Exactly, Angel. He had no kids based on this. He marries her. She has two children. They have one child. So he has one child. That he's thinking, well, I need to leave an inheritance for I'm just using that. So now you want me to, what if he only had one, one and one child? And now you want to take on these two? No. Uh, Miss Sincere. Hey, Miss Sincere. I'm trying to give everybody shout outs today. He shouldn't have married her. It's a package deal. What if she dies? I read that he's going to put the kids on uh, the foster care problem. Well, where's the daddy? Right? If he dies. If she dies, what's the plan, ma'am? Who's the next of kin for your children? Because without the paperwork, Auntie Grandma from his side, I know this happened to somebody. I, I didn't know her. It was so sad. So sad. Young girl, 30, in her mid-30s, been in bed for a couple of days, a bad pain. This is why I don't play with pain, honey. If my pinky hurt, I'm going to urgent care, okay? And she had a little boy. He may have been about five or six. And the boy, the other boy, I remember he's 15, 16. And she had no plans. And sure enough, she dies. They came, the boy, they came home from kids and found her in the bed. It was so sad. And sure enough, the little boy who had a daddy, he came and got him. And then the big boy had to go with her mama, the girl's mama. So now you're saying if he if she dies, he needs to take on 
these extra two kids. But where is the kid's family? <laughs> Where's the daddy? I just want to know. V, hey, V, V says, no, he's not wrong. Hey, v as in Vernisha. <laughs> Marilyn girl. Oh, I'm done. Thank you. I read, that. I gave shout outs today. He's not, Marilyn girl says, he's not technically wrong. I love it when people use the word technically. Uh, but this is something men who marry a woman with children usually offer to do on their own. Never heard of it. I ain't never heard of it. Uh, I work with a lot of people that intermarry and marry. I ain't never heard of it. Now, I've known, I've heard a few people, but this is not just, oh, I'm going to adopt your kids. Mm -mm, this is not, mm -mm. Sure, who's, they, but this is something men who, who marry a woman with children usually offer to do their own. Her ex-husband is responsible for his children. But who knows, is he dead in prison? Uh, was he abusive? Either way, the new husband isn't obligated to legally adopt them. But when you marry a woman with children, you need to be prepared to emotionally adopt them and help provide for them. Well, he's doing that. He's providing basic needs. Why he needs to go down to the court and sign the paper. The ex should be given child support, but he, the current husband should be treating his stepchildren as his own in a way. I totally agree. But why does it mean I'm going to go down to the court and take you on? Okay, if they divorce, he shouldn't have to keep providing for those kids. But I don't know how he will communicate that to her without it causing problems. If he adopt those kids and they get a divorce, he is legally obligated to pay child support. This is the part you guys are not seeing. And... Uh, <laughs> Trina, I love you, girl. She, you said no. <laughs> she said no. Okay. So I'm with him. No, sir. No, because usually men like that, they are very strategic. Notice he didn't say he had kids. He said she had kid, two kids, and they have one together. So that means all this time, his plan was to procreate within marriage, not outside of the marriage bond. So I totally agree with him. No, don't do it. Yes, provide basic needs, sir. If you take these kids on, make sure they're, they're, they're fed, they have clothes, they have shelter. You know, I do believe this is being being analytical. If the children, if the children has child support coming in, I do believe some of that should go towards the household expenses. Child support. Support, food, clothes, shelter, light, cable, all of that. Now, if like in my husband instance where he was able to provide for us, he was like, no, I got this. Let's put all this in our savings to build up our nest egg. And so that's where the money went that my daughter uh, was getting. And that's where my income goes. It goes towards our savings. And my husband provides all the basic needs. But I'm making this, a, well, if he was, well, I wouldn't have married him if he wasn't able to. But I do believe if there is child support coming in and the home is lacking something, some of that money needs to go towards these bills around here. Because you know those kids, they eat a lot. Okay, during COVID, I felt so sorry for the mamas crying and caring. And girl, they eat me out of a house only. Okay, babes, I love you. I'm going to run. I'm going to come back and I have my nose here on Vernicia. I'm going to come back and do a video later. All right. Mwah. Bam. Show me love, show me love. Let's see, did I get to my 11,000? 10,983, come on, y'all. Let's get me there, get me there, get me there. I love you, I have to run. Show me love on my books on Amazon. Mm, I'm trying to get to number one bestseller. Remember, I need reviews. Leave those reviews for me. And of course, please help me to stimu stimulate my brand new Etsy shop. It's currently still being edited as we speak. I love you. Let me know what you think about this. Bye. Mwah.